Hello students, this is Jyoti Rajput and today's chapter is that is threat to biodiversity. So here these are the topics which we are going to study is habitat loss, poaching of wildlife, man wildlife conflicts, biological invasions and the last topic is conservation of biodiversity in situ and ex situ conservation. So the very first here the topic is the habitat loss. So here you can see this picture that how the home uh, the habitat of the animals it is getting destroyed. So the very first reason of destruction of habitat is the natural calamities and the next major reason for the habitat destruction is the human activities. Human are the ones which are exploiting the forest area. How? By deforestation. Right and here because of the deforestation it is a, you know, one of the reason it is causing a major climatic change. Habitat loss is the main reason due to which the number of animals they are getting extinct, right? So deforestation, it causes habitat destruction. Habitat destruction, the cutting down of the forest, why it is taking place? It is taking place just so that uh, we can create field for agriculture. Even the filling in wetlands is also used to build the houses, industries, mining and creating dams. And dams is also one of the main reason due to which there is a change in direction of the rivers. So since 150 years there has been a habitat destruction taking place so it's majorly it's all because of the anthropogenic activities that is called as human activities so here you can see if suppose this is a river and here a dam it is built so whenever required the dam is going to get open and closed so here the river flown a direction it is going to get changed as their uh, manipulation in the use of the dams desertification it is also because of the human activities so here suppose the land which we are using for agriculture and if it is used inappropriately here excess use of the pesticide excess use of the chemicals then here the fertility level is going to reduce of these field so it causes desertification there are some of the places like the mangroves, coastal area, deserts and the wetland. Here also there has been a habitat loss taking place. Here due to which there is extinction of the species. Here if we see one of the species that is Emirati leaf toyed gecko. Here it lives in the Khor Fakhan. Here it is also one of the uh, animal which is fighting for the survival just because of the destruction of the habitat. So here the degradation of the habitat loss. It is one of the main reason for the extinction. So due to which it is directly going to affect the biodiversity which is present in the world. So habitat loss, if it is reduced, then only we will be able to maintain the biodiversity and here the ecosystem is going to be stable. So habitat loss, it is taking place by because uh, the agricultural field could be obtained for the modernization, for the urbanization. So, but here there is a great loss that is the loss of biodiversity is taking place due to which the future population species they are the one which is going to get affected here if you see this is a kind of a food chain suppose if we take an example of these uh, tree right this is a tree and these herbivorous animals they are dependent on these trees right and these carnivorous animals they are dependent on these herbivores if we imagine suppose one of the species it get extincted so what is going to happen the predator is the one which is not going to have any kind of food so the number directly is going to get reduced down right so here that is why if one species is extinct then here it is going to affect the population which is dependent on the species which is uh, here uh, for the food right so the each and every creature it is dependent on each other right uh, due to a kind of a food chain due to a kind of a food web we all are connected to each other right so if one species get extincted it will cause an imbalance in the ecosystem as it is causing an imbalance in the food chain so that is why the destruction of the forest is has to be reduced right otherwise it is going to affect greatly the biodiversity of the world so that is why habitat loss is essential to get reduced so that the biodiversity it could be balanced here clearing land is also one of the main reason here due to which there is a great habitat loss taking place and also it also causes a soil erosion so here it is a slow process 
habitat loss it is a kind of a slow process in the climatic region also in the temperate climatic region also in the tropical habitat region also All right so that is why we have to uh, protect the animals which are endangered species and also the animals which are at the urge of extinction then only the depletion of the species we can be able to save there are some different factors also that for the extinction of species like the hunting activities sports activity and also the food right so here these are some of the reason due to which there is depletion of the species here if we talk about a kind of an invasive species what exactly these invasive species are so suppose there is a species which is living in a particular habitat okay and suppose there is another new species okay suppose there is another new species here which has come into a new habitat which has come into a new habitat correct so here this uh, suppose species number one is the species which was already living in a particular area and species two is a species which is uh, coming to a new area right so here this species two it has come into a new area so what will happen is this species two as it is not having any kind of enemies it is going to get reproduced it is going to reproduce right sexually or asexually and here it is the one which is going to increase its population so it can happen that species two population it can increase so much that it can eradicate the species one which was already present over here so the invasion of a new species at a particular new area it is also responsible for the removal for the extension of the species which was already present in uh, already old area right so it is also one of the main reason for the extension next topic is that is a poaching of wildlife poaching what exactly it is it is an illegal illegal activity against the animals right which is taking place in the wild life so here first of all here these activity it is illegal activities like the hunting of animals killing of animals and also capturing these animals all right so it may be plant also and it, it is same for the animal also all right so this hunting this is taking place without license all right and first of all it is a prohibited area where this place is uh with this activities is occur occurring all right so first of all there is a lot of profit in uh, the poaching of the animals but here they it also causes the species to get depleted to get endangered and also ultimately it get extinct all right so here these trading of animals these poaching of animals it has to be reduced so the animals where the poaching it is done the poaching is done so that we can obtain the horns we can obtain the teeth we can obtain the skin of the animals especially if we take an example of the ivory of the elephant the ivory it is used for some um, important decorative items but all these activities are illegal even the poaching is done for tigers so that we can obtain the skin and the bones which is very expensive so this over exploitation of animals it is a completely illegal activity even the uh, poaching of the timber it is also seen in the forest so these all activities these poaching activities it helps it is the main reason for the extinction of species that is why it should be stopped otherwise the food chain it is going to get disturbed and it will cause disbalance in the ecosystem and now in the next topic in the next video the next topic will be manned wildlife conflicts so this is how our lecture ends thank you